on the agenda for today. It was just going to be a typical day, whatever that might look like, at Holson Beck Elementary School. Well, what was on the agenda for today is you have pretty much the agenda and then you have the agenda that happens as the day proceeds. We did get to go to a couple of classrooms and so we got to visit uh, with some students and hear all the things that they're learning. Uh, a lot was going on, um, but really just the agenda is relationships and that is every day. The agenda for the day uh, was to just uh, get into some classrooms and uh, visit and see what the instruction was like and give her an opportunity to um, see what Simpson Academy has to offer for the students. So she read a book to the entire school um, we did carpool duty, which I think she really loved. I loved that, yes. <laughs> and I would like for him to be able to go into classrooms and actually see the work in action and see how our children are working hard and that our teachers are working with our children to help grow the learning capacity. So he's going to get to experience it all. I was very amazed when I walked into the school. Um, the kids were, the structure was just amazing. Um, they were at the computers doing their work, very quiet, respectful. The, the students have been very open to us, um, very open to me, came up, talked to me, we were asking all kinds of questions, so it's been a great experience. Mr. Stapleton does a great job creating a, an environment where love is first. I have seen so many children, not only girls, boys, so many children come up and hug him today. And I just think that's amazing. I've seen um, Dr. Blackwell very busy. He has been in classrooms. We greeted all the students this morning off of the bus. We had a little issue that came up that he handled beautifully. I thought it was great. I was very excited to see what school was like after being out of school for, I don't know, what, 12, 13 years now. Um, so no, I had a blast just, you know, the experience of seeing him interview a teacher to interviewing the kids, you know, maybe a, about a little bit of behavioral issue, yeah. um, but everything was great. I just am blown away by the culture here and I love it. I'm really, I'm, I love it. I think that our experience today has kind of shown a different side of the principalship and, and that human side and really want her to see the people that make up our school because that's what our school is about is the, the kids and the adults all in this building, you know, sharing that educational journey. I really want to be a mentor here um, at the school um, to help um, encourage the kids and teach them how to be successful through their difficult times. I want her to see this is a place where children are thriving and they love to come to school and they're excited um, and they're supported in so many ways. I would like for Candace to see what really great things are going on at Auburn. So I hope he comes away with a deeper appreciation of how hard it is to be an early childhood educator, but what a blessing it is every day. I think a lot of what we do here um, addresses the whole student and not just the standards and to get her perspective um, while having her in the building was just uh, just a great experience for me as a principal. I'm proud of what we have and I want her to be able to see that and then go out and share that into the community but at the same time mm -hmm. I think it's good to have external questioning where someone say well why do you do that and we need to be able to have a good reason for why we do what we do. When people come to our school I want them to feel loved and safe and kindness starts that and so we talk about being ready respectful and responsible each and every day so that's my focus is that she sees that yeah we are doing stuff with reading and writing and math but what's more important is that our kids are loved and safe uh, i hope that uh, we can actually build that relationship between business and industry and education and, and i hope that we can get a better understanding of where we both come from i wanted my guests to see really how many people, uh, the effort of how many people goes into a, a successful school day. Because uh, a lot of times you just think that school happens, but you, behind the scenes it starts with the front desk, the receptionist, greeting people, answering the phones, uh, to the lunchroom workers, to the, the classroom teachers, and just how those uh, daily expectations are executed to make sure that you have a, a seamless uh, school that's running every single day. People think a principal is just being the boss of the school, or sometimes the instructional leader of the school is what people immediately think. It's uh, far more than that. It's building everything. It's the face of the school. It's uh, uh, connecting communities, connecting families, connecting everything. Principal Jackie is awesome. <laughs> she hit the ground running, and we have been moving nonstop. <laughs> it hasn't been an act of futility, I tell you what. Yeah. It's been like a jog around the <laughs> track. The relationships are extremely important. Um, 
The uh, communication seems absolutely wide open and transparent here, which um, to me breeds success. And being able to move swiftly from incident to incident or to from parent to student to teacher to was absolutely astounding. So it's a lot going on and it takes a lot to handle all that. So I signed up to be a principal for the day because I really just want to see what's going on in the schools. I want to see how the students and the teachers and faculty can be better served by the community. It's an opportunity not to pass up to have the chance to come to a school like this, especially this is the school my oldest daughter will be at in just a year or two, and so that was really helpful to see what she's looking forward to in the next couple years. And I like to see behind the scenes um, what's going on, the challenges that Ms. Dallas and other principals in the school system face, how they deal with those, and I'm, I'm learning quite a lot on that. And I think I can help tell that story to the community and to businesses that are looking to relocate. I wanted to do principal for a day because I really wanted to see like how the schools interact and stuff. It's been a while since I've been in school. They, they care about the students, the safety of the students, the teachers, um, and so I think they're doing great things here at Hayman Morris. I just wanted to try to become a better partner in education and just get a, a feel for, for what the principal obviously does, but what the, the teachers and the students do day in, day out, and how we could possibly help. And as a school board member, I want the community leaders to see what's going on in our schools and to be able to go out into the community and into the neighborhoods and brag about the schools. I want people to look at Barrow County as a destination, as a place they want their kids to go. Um, I think you made a very good point about getting our story out to our community and not what a better way to be able to do that and then invite them in to be a part of, of us during the day. I think it's very powerful because he can take what he's learned out into our community with other business leaders um, and let, let them know what wonderful things are going on here at Statham Elementary and across our school system. It gives you a, a, an appreciation for the teachers, for the administration, and uh, for the school system. So I think it's very important. Well, I think this is a, a perfect example of what Barrow County does boldly, uh, getting the business and industry uh, into schools and uh, allowing uh, us to uh, collaborate. And so um, I, th I just think it's a wonderful opportunity. So I'm enjoying it. I hope I get to do it again next year. I really have enjoyed it. Should we end it with a barrel bold? Absolutely, a barrel bold. <laughs> <laughs>